All right, rare earths. Now, that's one of the hottest sectors uh, right now as China's export curbs intensify the need for diversification elsewhere. And that's where uh, ASX listed Vital Metals comes in, which is nearing production as it's at its rare earth project in Canada. To take us through the details, Jeff Atkins, Managing Director of Vital Metals, joins us now. Jeff, good morning. Great to have you uh, on the show. So th you've, you've reached a key stage here as far as a, a, a sample uh, from uh, your project there in Canada. Just tell us where you're at and what the prospects are. Yes, well, thanks very much for having me on. Um, yes, so we are now at the point of uh, getting ready to mobilise our mining fleet across to our site at Mitchell Art Show up in Canada. Um, we are also, from a production perspective, we've produced our, uh, the product sample, which is also going up to our customer retech up in, uh, up in Norway as well. So this is really the key steps in terms of bringing the project into operation to be able to produce um, or commence operations this year. And, and is your cash balance looking good enough to, uh, to take that, that project forward? Look, we have a pretty good cash balance at the moment. Obviously, uh, with the current rare earth uh, markets, we'll look at the, what op opportunities are available, both through government debt equity funding to um, to bring the whole project uh, into operation. Okay, so what are you actually focusing on as you know, your target there as far as um, rare earths are concerned? So what we're looking at producing is a what's called a mixed rare earth carbonate product. So this is a, a purified product, but with all the rare earths combined, and that will be sold to a rare earth separation facility. Uh, we have our definitive agreement with Retech up in Norway where they will then separate the, um, that product into the, the individual rare earths. The key targets, though, are the magnet metals, so neodymium and presidinium, which are primarily used in well, the key markets there, electric vehicles and wind turbines. And how much of an advantage do you have in this market, given it's um, the first producer in Canada? Look, in my mind, there's a, very, there's a huge, huge advantage Firstly, it's, uh, well, as you mentioned, first uh, mine in Canada. The second one really is, it's all about being able to, um, to be in production and have the flexibility to react to the market conditions which we're currently finding for rare earths where there is a lot of uh, future demand forecast and it's important to actually be in a position where you can take advantage, advantage of that. Um, and that's really where for us it's important to uh, to achieve production this year. What, what is the most important market to you at the moment? I mean, obviously we know uh, China's play here at the moment and interesting too, just as far as their, uh, given their growth forecast, there's some disappointment there. How, how are you looking at the overall market? Look, the market's an interesting one. Um, obviously, it, rare earths are getting a lot of press both in, in Australia, in the US and also in Europe. So from our perspective, we're positioning ourselves to not only be able to access the, uh, the North American market through our plant in Canada, but then obviously the European market uh, with our agreement with Retech. Um, in general, for rare earths, I think what you're seeing is a, uh, a lot of companies looking to diversify their supply chains, um, whether that is uh, outside of China or in, and in Europe or the US, but there's a general push for the diversification of supply chains and particularly being able to secure um, a guaranteed supply of feedstock. And that's really where we're seeing a lot of interest come in. Jeff, thanks so much for giving us an update this morning. We wish you luck with that project. Great. Thanks a lot. Thanks for having me on.